What is up, Zero Gang? My name is Kessel Zero Vlogs, and today we are going to be talking about Mike Richards. He has been uh, canceled, so to speak. He was going to be the host for the new Jeopardy season that is coming up, but he has since then been canceled. They let him go because he said some uh, sexist remarks, and he also said some stuff about um, the J word. I don't know if you can say the J word on YouTube. YouTube, can I say the J word? Am I able, can I say Jew? I can? Okay, so YouTube lets me say that word. Maybe not too many times, we'll, we'll see what YouTube does. But basically the dude got canceled, so I'm expecting it to be some really horrible stuff that he said. And uh, they said that since then it has been removed and you can't find it. And oh, he was so bad, you guys can only imagine how bad the stuff he said. But I'm Castle Zero Vlogs, and when you watch my content, I always do deep digging to find exactly what was said so we can get the best analyzation on the topic so guess what guys i actually have the footage that he said i have both the things that he said that got him canceled so first we're going to be listening to what he said about women that was so unbelievably degrading point is we're going to listen to that if you guys aren't just trying to make sure you like subscribe and comment and help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call youtube and uh if you're new make sure you guys check out some merch and if you already subscribed and you're already watching my videos Check out the merchandise. It is available right now, this exact. See, we're gonna be getting some new stuff as well. But without further ado, we're gonna get into the video and uh, let's hear what he said. Was it really that bad? Was it really that sexist? Was it really all this bad stuff they're saying? Let's find out right now. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever taken a nude picture? I'm not answering that question to you, Mike Richards. Answer it right now to your <laughs> fans. Not. Have you? I mean, I've, no. I okay, okay, I gotta stop it right there. Is this any... Thing odd that this always happens on podcasts and radio host shows. What? Why is this bad? What makes it different? Okay, let me restart it, listen to it entirety, and then start breaking it down because this already is like almost pissing me off. They're trying to cancel this dude for just like stuff that people do all the time anyway. Well, okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever okay. taken a nude picture? I'm not answering that question to you, Mike Richards. Answer it right now to your <laughs> fans. Have you? I mean, I've no, I haven't. Yes, you have. I have not like naked. You guys hear the... Okay, I keep stopping. I'm sorry. You guys hear the way she stopped? No, I'm really breaking this down. It's only a 20-second clip. So, you guys hear the way she stopped for a second? You guys hear the way she stopped for a second? She took those darn pictures. All right. I'm going to let it play in its entirety. I swear I won't say anything. I'm going to shut up. We're going to hear it in its entire entirety, and I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I just... I, it just irked me, man. Well, okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever taken a nude picture? I'm not answering that question to you, Mike Richards. Answer it right now to your <laughs> fans. Have you? I mean, I've... No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I have not like naked. I've taken like cute pictures of myself that I thought what does were that mean? cute. What I does that know. mean? I thought I was like so cute. <laughs> like booby pictures? What are you looking at? He got canceled for that. So I'm gonna break this down. Like I said, the fact that she's like, well, um, oh uh, well, the way she was doing all that stuff, literally, she took a bunch of naked pictures. Probably messed with the whole football team. All right, this is exactly why I always say it. I don't want to get famous through Hollywood. I'd rather get famous through social media because through Hollywood, they own you. No matter how much money you make, no matter how successful you are, they own you. I don't know about all the blood sacrifices and all that stuff. I don't know if that's real, but I do know that um, if you're not a good yes man, you're not a good little puppy dog, they own you. You don't do what they tell you to do, they ruin you. The same way they ruin this man. I don't know that it could be deeper than this, but I don't see how this is offensive to literally anyone. He said, what, like booby pictures? That's offensive? It happens, we're adults here. That's what women do. Men uh, simp over over women on OnlyFans. Men simp on women, is that is that bad as well? Is that like a derogatory remark as well? Okay, there's simps and there's, and there's sluts. It is what it is. Deal with it. If she's a slut, she's a slut. I mean, it's not gonna stop her from making her money. Like, who cares, right? We shouldn't be getting counseled with this. Let's listen to this again, and then I'm going to break it down from the part that I left off on. Well, okay, let me ask out to your <laughs> fans. Have you? I mean, I've, no, I haven't. Yes, you have. I have not, like, naked. I've taken, like, cute pictures of myself that I thought What does that mean? Cute. cute pictures of herself. You know what cute is to most women? Having their booty up on the camera. Little thirst angles, little uh, thirst traps, stuff like that. That's what cute to women is. Oh, I look so cute. My titties are out. Oh, don't look at my titties, though. But come on, man. We're all adults. We see it happens all the time. And it sells, and it makes women money. 
There's nothing, you know what I mean? If you feel ashamed about it, right, then don't do it. I promise you, if you find her Instagram, I might even do that. If I find her Instagram, I promise you, if I can find her Instagram, I'm gonna put her Instagram pictures up on here and I promise you we're gonna see some thirst traps. If, if I can find her Instagram, I promise you guys, I promise you guys, I will literally make a second clip talking about each picture because I know she's put some thirst traps out. That's exactly what we're talking about. She's putting thirst traps out that I can guarantee you she's seeing some new pictures. I can promise you that. Let's listen to the rest of it. What does that mean? I thought that was like so cute. <laughs> He, he said, what does that mean? He's getting straight to the point. I like this guy. I don't even know who he was before this video, but I like this guy. He's like, what does that mean? What does that mean? I took some cute pictures. What does that mean? You're not answering the question. It's either yes or no. If, you're, if, 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 like, if it's a real woman, right? It's a real woman who has standards. She's going to be like, a, a new picture? No. She's like, what are you talking about? I don't take new pictures. What type of woman are you taking me for? But she's like, well, um, I mean, uh, you have to think that hard. You're doing it. I take cute pictures. If that's what you mean. <laughs> I'm a girl. Like, no, a real woman would have been appalled by this. She would have been like, what are you talking about? I don't take no naked pictures. Like, I'm a boss woman, you know? I, I don't do that stuff. That's, I'm looking to the side, I'm imagining looking at, you know? But, um, yeah, that's how it would be, you know? Like, they would be like, they would be like immediately like, no, what are you talking about? But she obviously takes cute pictures. I forgot, in 2021, you can't be bold about what you see. You gotta be like, new pictures are cute pictures, you know? That, that's what this whole thing's about. Let me not go too far. Because I know YouTube, you know, the CEO is a female, so let me not go in too hard. But uh, yeah, this is a joke. Like booby pictures? What are you looking at? No! I mean, like the whole thing, like, hey, 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 I'm a girl. All right. And to the point to where Beth got a job being a, was it a booth hoe? Is that right? <laughs> at, at CES? It was a booth babe. I don't think yeah. they used the word hoe for that. <laughs> what is a booth babe? A booth, a booth slut is someone who dresses up in very provocative provocative clothes and i was in a uh -huh. t-shirt well so. it, it, she was Go in a she was in a white t-shirt contest that's what it is like that's what it is a booth babe is a booth hoe that's what it is You're, you're oh God. I, can't. I can't i'm done i'm done let's end the video i'm done i can't i can't he's being he's being blunt about it there's nothing he said that was wrong it's true like, if your titties are showing, oh, I'm so, I lost my monetization. I said the T word. But look, if all that stuff is showing, it's true. If she can't say it, absolutely not. She's one of those type of clues. I don't know how to even find her Instagram. She's doing what? T shirt contests and all that stuff. We know what type of woman this is. She got OnlyFans. And, oh, by the way, OnlyFans doesn't let you get all the um, porn stuff anymore. So, good luck to you women out there. You know, it's like, just look, if you want to do that line of work, that's fine, there's a market for it. But don't try to act like it's more than what it is, all right? You can be a glorified whore, or you can just be a basic whore, all right? You're still a whore, regardless. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter, all right? I don't even care about my monetization in this. It doesn't make a difference. No matter what you want to call it, you're still selling your body for money at the end of the day. Whether it's physical, digital, visual, it doesn't matter. If you are making money, from sex appeal, so to speak, right? From doing thirst traps and breasts and all that stuff. You're just a slut, period. He's 100% right. He is 1000% right. That's what you are. And a lot of women just phone up to it, be like, yeah, but I'm making that bag though. I'm a boss bitch. You know, usually it goes like that. And I can respect that. I mean, I don't respect them, but I can respect that. Also, yeah, get, get the money. There's a market for it. The dumb idiots are gonna do it to somebody else. Why not you? But to be like, that's not what it is. Let's not use those words. What are we in kindergarten? That's not a nice word to say. Like, it is what it is. All right. I gotta hear this one more time because this dude is actually pretty funny. I would have watched this podcast. He's hilarious. And to the point to where Beth got a job being a, was it a booth hoe? Is that right? Yes. At, at CES? It was a booth babe. I don't think yeah. they used the word hoe for that. <laughs> what is a booth babe? A booth, a booth slut is someone who dresses. <laughs> So, okay, you see the difference in this? The other chick, right, who isn't um, a, a hoe or a whore, she's like, what is a booth babe? She doesn't know what that is. That's a real woman. Those are respectable women. Those are the women that usually men will want to marry. Not a woman who's doing wet t-shirt contests and have to use little baby words to, um, you know, justify what her, her, her business is. You know what I mean? Anytime you have to change the word for where your occupation is or whatever you're doing, it means you shouldn't be doing it. If you feel that your job, whatever it is, that you have to change the word, 
you shouldn't be doing it. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube content. I'm not saying, well, I'll make, you know, type of videos, you know, um, uh, so you do porn. Now, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I do, you know, me be doing, me be making love and stuff like that. Like, how lame is that? How lame would I sound? This is up in very <laughs> provocative clothes. And I was in a uh -huh. t-shirt, so... Well, <laughs> it, she, was in a, she was in a white yeah. t-shirt contest. You hear the way she's laughing? She's completely ashamed of it. She's just like woman that would laugh, right, and be hee 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 hee, and then you got the cops coming up to your door saying you did something to her when you didn't even do nothing to her. She's one of those type of women. Women like that are dangerous, dude. Everyone's gonna wear one pieces and look really frumpy and overweight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, She's uh, laughing. That's so funny because no one's overweight, but... But they all look right, terrible then. in the picture. Yeah, they look fat and, uh, and like not good in the picture. It's bad. Oh my God, you look great. Hilarious. You look like a Sports Illustrated model, and then you've got One Piece Malones <laughs> on either side of you, <laughs> which is just horrible. I can't wait to meet my roommate because she's literally gonna be like, walk up to you in like a bag and be like, "Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm what's wearing up? a smock. I'm wearing a smock, and I'm gonna give her a smack. You ready for some news? <laughs> I know. Yo, this guy's hilarious. He's funny. He's he's like what every um podcast person does. He's into. He's he's funny. You know, he's he's very man. He's Wow, good for him, man. This guy's funny. He probably has a big audience, too. This guy's funny. Wow. Oh, but let's, let's hear the next one. Let's hear the next one. I want to break down every single one. This video is going to be forever. So let's watch the next one. See, I don't want to make this a political show. I know. Because here's the thing with Beth. Is that I know that you're hardworking. And I know that you're out there trying to get stuff going. Mm -hmm. The dangerous side about the crack right. that you just took mm -hmm. is that... Not everyone is like you. Com yeah. Mm -hmm. But everyone can collect unemployment, which is why we have so many people on unemployment right now. Mm -hmm. Which is why we have so many people on food stamps. Because what if you got unemployment and food stamps? You'd be like, good lord, I make... You know what I'm saying? What's bad about that? That wasn't even bad. Well, what is a dollar to me? I mean, it's a lot, <laughs> but... <laughs> But um, I'm, I'm guessing if we compared our ratios, it's it's like a thousand dollars to me. But you know what? Whenever I think I want to keep a dollar, I'm like, no, give the dollar. That's my mo. Was this the government's? On a you guys hear the way her voice is and stuff like that. And he actually gave her a compliment. He said, "What a dollar is to her is a thousand dollars to him." He actually gave her a compliment. There's nothing wrong with this dude did so far. Appointment money that you're. Um, oh my god. Well, I don't know because I'm not getting that much circle. anymore. Because I'm in the play. Oh, damn you, Obama. <laughs> Don't you start. No, that that's amazing. If you gave away money that was given to you by the government, is that the is... the best story ever told over? Is, is it over now? That's literally... Jen, the, no music. Cut. That's the circle of no life. No, Mike, it was just That's a the sound of America going down the toilet. I thought that she needed it so she could get, like, some she coffee She didn't even ask you for food. it. Or I, some crack. I know. Or that's some meth. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this guy's entertaining, man. Let's listen to the next one. I didn't know there were so many. Um, I didn't know there were so many guys. Let's listen to all of them. Jeff Probst had a daytime talk show, which I was cheering for because I, I like, you know, the average uh, white guy host. I cheer for him to succeed because I feel like through his success, I could have some success Aww. hosting. It's a joke. That's a joke, obviously. That's a joke, dude. That's a joke. This dude's just making jokes. People are just so weak these days, man. It's so sad that you can't actually have any personality. That's sad, man. Let's, let's, let's listen to another one. No, uh, listen. <laughs> again, I, my family, not huge Seacrest fans. Me, I think it's great what he's done. And and uh, I think he's actually made the, the world a safer place for what I like to call the skinny white hosts, like, like George and I, which is, it's you know, you'll take a chance on someone that you don't know. And, so, and what's interesting is you have to remind people that no one knew who he was. Mm -hmm. It was that he was a good nuts and bolts Post. Yeah. All right. I, I, this video probably already hit over 10 minutes long. So if you guys want me to listen to all the clips, let me know. I will save the link. Um, let me know if you guys want to listen to all the clips. But I don't want this video to be too long. And uh, I think we all got pretty much the gist of what happened. This man did nothing wrong, man. He's just being edgy. He's being funny. They're actually laughing with him. Even the woman that uh, you know is supposed to be getting put on blast is laughing. The hosts are laughing. It's not like everyone's having a really good time. Um, she could have went back and, you know, said something. Obviously, it's all the SGWs messing everything up. This guy is funny. 
Um, I will probably listen to his podcast myself if that isn't canceled. But this guy did nothing wrong, man. Sh- little shout out to Mike Richards, dude. Like, hold your own, man. It's, it's, it sucks that, you know, he can't be the host on the Jeopardy show, but forget Jeopardy, man. Like, do your own thing, dude. Like, this podcast, you do like a podcast on YouTube or something where he doesn't need, um, you know, the media, so to speak. He's actually a very funny um, host. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with what he did, dude. He has my complete support as a uh, content creator, to be honest with you. This dude did nothing wrong. He was funny, he was edgy, he was bold. Um, what did they want him to do? Just be like, oh, you're you a, a beach babe? What did she say, a booth babe? Well, that's a productive job. What did they want him to do? Like, it's not a respectable job, you know? But that's the same reason why I always say, you know, I could have been on um, some reality TV shows. I could have done a lot of things with the media. And I thought to myself, you know, with my personality, with my thought process, do I really want to bend over for someone? Or do I want to build my own thing that will probably be harder, take way longer, and answer to no one? Sure, I answer to YouTube to an extent, but I think that I have way more free will and I can say more of what I want than me saying something like, oh, blah, 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 is a whore. They're like, oh my God, he's so misogynistic. Get him out of here, cancel him, and then I'll have a platform, right? Then I'm ruining my money, my, my income's dependent on, you know, what I say. Uh, and who they want me to be rather than what I want to say and who I am. So, um, yeah, man, this is why you don't get famous through Hollywood. You know, I mean, if you if you agree with the left, I guess go for it. But if you're a free thinker or conservative or Republican, don't, don't try to get famous through the media. They will ruin you, I really promise you. They will ruin you. If you look at Lady Gaga, look at what Lady Gaga used to say and look at what she says now. They destroy the woman, man, it's so sad. Look at The Rock. He's a liberal now, like out of nowhere. Um, but anyway, like I said, I don't want this video to be too long, but those are my thoughts on the whole thing. It's it's a sad, it's very, very sad. And this man truly did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong even more than the baby. If you guys haven't seen that video, somewhere around here it'll pop up. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much my final thoughts. What do you guys think? You guys think that he went too far or do you guys think that he, you know, didn't do anything wrong? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. Remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. And thank you for watching.